Hi, I'm Brian from Synthesis Technologies. I'm the leader for SQL Accounting System. If you want to make purchase, training, want to look for support, or come to our center for one day certificate course, you can contact me directly. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding SQL accounting system and so company. This is also my virtual class for all my clients so you can post your queries and question over here and I'll answer accordingly. Please go to youtube.com slash technologies to browse all my previous tutorial video for SQL accounting system and payroll system. In today's lesson, I'll talk about an additional module called Import Export. You can make use of this if you have branches where you need to export the daily sales and send back to HQ to do the import. For example, we go to Sales, Invoice, we create a new invoice for today. Okay. So the invoice is IB ABCD. With a item of access, ten unit by today's date, thousand two. Save. Close this one. We open the export module. You must make sure the customer and also the item must be already inside the hash queue. If not, then you need to the, do the export for customer and stock first before you do the transaction export. So we know that it's already in. So we go to sales. We can select which type of document you want to send. Invoice by today. 20, 12, 12, 12, 12. We also select that specific document. For example, I just want to select today. This one. Then we do export and we can specify a name and or which location you want to store. So we just put S28 December 2012 invoice. Save it. So export successfully. Then for this one, oh exit. We log to another company. We go to sales invoice. We can see that there's no transaction for 28. Remember, you must open the company first before you do the import export. So we open the import module, select the file, this one, open. So this is the invoice, verify, done, import, so import done, successfully imported, go to this one, we open back, sales invoice, then you can see that the transaction successfully imported. So this is how to do a import export for SQL accounting system. Where are you from? As Syntax Technologies, you can contact me with this information. Thank you.